Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey. Haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a whitey. Keep my What's up, y'all? So as you can see, today we're going to attempt to repair this damaged full lace wig. I'm going to start off by using my hair thread and I'm going to go through and I'm going to fix any holes or rips that happened to the wig in the process of it being destroyed. Now I'm starting off with this biggest tear and I'm just pressing the two sides together and looping my thread over the top. People a lot of times they'll make an S pattern with their needle and kind of loop it from one side to the other. But here you can see how I'm kind of pinching and I'm putting a little bit of fabric inside the loops of my thread. That way it can take the pressure off of one spot, therefore preventing it from ripping. Now I'm just going to finish up this spot and I'm going to go through the wig and anywhere else I see a tear or a hole, I will attempt to repair that. So right here you can see I found another hole. So I'm just going to take my thread and stitch it up much like I did the other rip. Make sure to double and triple knot your knots just to make sure that they don't come loose. But don't pull too tight because you can end up ripping the lace and making the hole even bigger. Right there is just a tiny, tiny little hole and I'm just going to go through and just tighten it just so I can make sure it doesn't get any bigger. So next you want to get your scissors and here you see me begin to cut off the lace. Now because this is a full lace wig, lace goes around the entire perimeter of the wig. As you can see with all the holes, Cairo has helped me take off most of the lace already. Now that I've cut off the lace, I'm putting the wig on this styrofoam mannequin head. This way I can begin the process of laying the hair down so I can style it. Now I'm going through with a wide tooth comb and combing out any knots that may be in the hair. Then after that, I'll find my part. So now that that's done, I'm using my red tail comb just to find where I want my side part to be. I end up shifting the wig just a little bit to make the part a little deeper. Now I'm going in with a water bottle, well a spray bottle filled with water, and the water will just help to kind of freeze the hair in the spot that I've combed it in and keep the part where I want it. Next I'm going to use my blow dryer just to dry the spots that I've sprayed with water and help secure the location of my part. Now I'm going in with my cheese styling cream and I'm just putting it all through the top of the hair to take care of any flyaways and flatten the hair before I begin to straighten it. I'm just going to lightly straighten the hair because since it has been through hell and back, it's a little frizzy and roughed up and I'm just going to flat iron it to get an idea of how the wig will look. Now you can see I'm going in with my mousse and I'm just putting it between sections of the hair. The mousse will also help to flatten the hair and just get rid of that puffy wig look that wigs can have when you first get them. And then I'm just going to use a head scarf to tie around my head and lay it flat. And then I'm just going to blow dry the hair one more time. Okay guys, now that I'm done turning up, you can see that the wig is significantly flatter and looks more natural already now that I've tied the headscarf on the head and, and blow dried it. I'm just blow drying it a little more just to ensure that it's as flat as it can be. So now that I see how the hair looks straight, 
I'm trying to decide whether I want a middle part or a side part. Eventually, I ended up still doing the side part like I originally wanted to do, but I typically tend to wear my hair in the middle part. So I'm painting the sky with a candy green and the clouds with silver lines. Bruh. So now that my flat iron is actually on, I'm going to now try to go in again and curl my hair. As you can see, this hair holds the curl really, really, really well. So I'm just going to go through and do basic flat iron curls all over my head. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how I do my flat iron curls, just make sure to comment in the box below. But I don't tend to use curling irons. I've always done my curls with a flat iron. So now I'm just going to play with the hair a little bit and just kind of see how it would look once I comb out all of the hair. Once again, here I go trying to decide if I want to switch the side part or leave it on the side it's on because I typically wear my hair on the side that I just checked to see if I wanted it on because I have a third piercing on the top of that ear. But that's the side that I had to sew up, so I have to leave it on this side this time. Now I'm just going through and I'm just curling the other side of the wig. I just keep running my fingers through the hair to make a feather effect and play with the curls just until I get it how I want. Now that I got the curls how I want, I'm just going to go through the hair and I'm going to make baby hairs on the edge. I start off by taking a, a makeup wipe and I just wipe off any makeup that's in that area because you have to be very careful when dealing with light hair because as a brown skinned girl, your makeup can get on your hair and sting it. Now you see me pulling out just a little bit of hair, and these are the pieces I'm gonna cut to make my baby hair. So now that I've cut off a large portion of the hair, I'm just going through and I'm making it kind of uneven so that the baby hairs could swoop in different sizes and look more natural. Typically I use a razor for this, but this time I'm just using my scissors since they're right here. Make sure not to grab too much hair because a lot of people's main problem is they make their baby hairs too thick and it makes your wig look really wiggish and not as natural. Now I'm going through with my favorite toothbrush and I just put a little water on it and I'm going to begin to style my baby hairs like I like. Now you can see I've made some baby hairs on the side and I'm going to go through with my mousse and put it over top just to kind of freeze them in place. I just went in and put all the rest of the mousse that was on my hands on the side of my head just so it can hold the hair back and you can see the baby hair. Alright guys, here are some clips of the final look. Here's how I looked when I went out later that night. The curls held up really well and lasted all night and everyone loved this color. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys!